All right, on this episode of Bouts Talking Bouts, excited to be talking to an individual set to compete at Ryzen 36. It goes down on July the 2nd. We have Sayori Oshima taking on Miyu Yamamoto and happy to be welcoming Miyu onto the show once again. How's your day going so far there, Miyu? Hey, how are you? Well, oh, yeah, I'm doing well. I'm just wondering how you're doing heading into this fight here. I imagine you're excited to get out there and compete. Um, I'm, I'm doing very good. I just finished uh, my MMS sparring and a boxing mid-session, and I feel great. I start um, focusing on what am I going to do at the fight, you know, like a game plan, and then it's really good. Um, it's having a bit better training so far. Yeah, it looks like you're getting in work at Crazy B. That seems to have been the main camp for a little bit. Is that where you're working at here? Oh, yeah, no worries. It just looks like you're getting in work at Crazy B. That seems to have been the main camp for a little bit. Is that where you're working for this fight? Actually, this this one I I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna um, train at my gym. No, um, no, I have the gym I'm training at. I'm just like focus on uh, in my gym and uh, with my team. So it's really great. Yeah, for sure. And it looks like in past, at least, you've gotten in work with Itsuki Harada. Who have you mostly been working with ahead of this one? Oh yes, yes. Uh, she's uh, uh, she's helping. She's uh, helping me a lot this time um, because you know, like my opponent, the judo girl, then she's good at grappling, and then she's a perfect, she's a perfect. She does judo and grappling is very well, and she's my uh, uh, the best partner, training partner so far. Uh, and then she's my coach too, she's coaching me. So I'm thinking that it's just gonna be my one of my corners. Yeah, for sure. And then just quickly, you know, talking about the last fight there, obviously it didn't pan out how you would have wanted it to, but a rematch you seem to have wanted for a decent bit. Like, what did you learn from that last fight against Reina Kubota? Oh, my God, yes. That was, um, that was a terrible mistake. And I guess um, that was a, my first time, like, after first round, I raised my hand because, you know, I felt like a... Oh, hell yeah, I got this, I got this. I guess that was like a, um, that was, it's, it's good that I, you know, have a confidence, but also, you know, I have to stay calm and I'm still focusing on it every second, every single second, but I guess I thought, you know, I got this, I got this, and then I didn't even sit up and I just dive in and I got me, so that was very bad and I learned a lot. Even though, you know, like here, I'm uh, leading and winning, but I'm still focusing every single second. So I learned that. <laughs> but it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure, because it looked like there was definitely a lot of improvements made since the first fight there. So, I mean, were you ultimately, I guess, you know, happy with the performance outside of the finish, obviously? Like, did you think you were able to show a lot of improvements from the first fight with Reyna? Oh, yes. So, yes. Uh, my standing two and my uh, grand like, position, you know, I could keep my... Uh, position and then you know and the ground pounding and then and then that was the first time for me to accept the the elbows i mean like i had to there's like a rules change so i have to accept the elbows and i think i used pretty okay 
yeah, that's an interesting thing I wasn't even necessarily thinking of. Have you enjoyed kind of having the elbows in there? Have you kind of like changed your training camp a little bit to integrate the elbows a little more? Has that changed things a bit? Oh, yes, yes. Even the ground and, you know, actually I have to get the um, base with my elbows. So I never done that. So it was a very good uh, um, good experience and a good yeah i think it's cool like as much as you've really grown with your striking you've always seemed very connected to your wrestling roots still and it seems like you're doing a lot with like guam wrestling like i saw you saying the 2022 oceania championship was coming up there on your instagram there so how has it been working with like you know guam wrestling and stuff like that Yes, um, um, we don't have that much uh, girls wrestler in Guam, but they're very, um, a few, but they're very good, uh, um, good wrestlers, so I train with them, um, pretty good, like, at high-level wrestling practice, too, and, and, and then my boxing coach, my strength coach, no, striking coach, his, um, his, uh, his, he doesn't make me uh, box or train like striking like anyone else. Like he kind of like knows what I can do and what's my style. So he's mixing with my wrestling style and the striking. So it's so kind of like an original, like my style. So, so it's kind of like a clicking now. It's connecting very well now. So. Yeah, and it seems like you've enjoyed teaching wrestling over the years quite a bit. Like when the first time we were talking, I thought it was cool that you used to, you know, be the York University Lions wrestling coach in Canada. So it seems like the you know teaching of wrestling technique is something you really enjoy. Oh, well, York, York University? Oh yeah, I was just saying the first time we were talking, I thought it was cool that you were like the York University Lions wrestling coach at one point. So it seems like teaching wrestling is something you've really enjoyed. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Um, I, had a, I was a women's head coach for a little bit, like a year. Yeah. I had a, that was like a very good experience. Because uh, I only coach, I only teach the kids. So I never coach for adults, like a university team, so that was a very good experience too. I learned a lot, and I also competed with the, my wrestlers, so it was fun. I missed them. Yeah, I was going to say, how much does like teaching the technique inform your own understanding of it as a competitor? Like a lot of fighters I talk to when they teach technique, it seems to like you know, bolster their understanding of it, and they can use it in competition even better. Have you kind of found that? Because, you know, sometimes I have to know, like, uh, how I get here. Okay, so I had to break down my moves and so my technique, so, and I have to teach them. So it's good to review, review my, like, movement, and then sometimes I found that I forgot about that, you know, I forgot about some moves, and then, like, oh, I forgot about this. I can use this. It's a uh, very, uh, it's very good. It is hard, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and just you know, curious about this opponent coming up here. Like in terms of like, are you somebody who does like a lot of you know tape study on your opponent? Have you been checking out a lot of Sayori Oshima's previous fights, or just mostly like refining your own skills in the camp? Uh, uh, so my corner is my husband, Kai Adam, and my son, and Ichiki, and then some of my fighters, they're, um, they're from judo, and then they're good, uh, grappling from the ground, and models, and then they all watch, um, her fight, and then they're, they study, and, you know, analyze it for me, and then, so it's a very good, um, very uh focusing on you know fight like a game plan so it's 
so good at um, they analyze very well. So I'm very um, thankful to my team. Yeah, I mean, have you been impressed with what you've seen from her so far or excited about this matchup? I mean, it seems like she's collected multiple titles in Deep Jewels and got that win over Kana Asakura at Ryzen 31. Is this, like, a matchup you're really excited for? Do you think this is, like, a good test of your martial arts skills? Yes, everything. Like, my striking and then even the bottom two, like... I'm not gonna give any chance to, you know, submit me or, um, but I heard like yesterday, actually yesterday I had a, um, interview, uh, with Rising and I didn't know she asked them, she asked Rising to, you know, fight with me. So I was like, oh, she asked them fight first. Okay, I thought like you know, Rising decided like oh, oh it's my enemy, but she asked them, and when I heard that she asked them, I was like, okay, I'm very honored, very proud. Of. I got this, <laughs> you know. It's more like kind of like your um, so, I'm excited, yeah. That's interesting. So seemed like they just wanted to, you know, test themselves and like the impression you got was like they just respect what you've done as a fighter and see you as a tough test. Is that kind of like the understanding with your opponent wanting to fight you there? Because that sounds cool. Yeah. I, yeah. I hear like it's um, she's a very respect me and then that's why she picked me. But you know what? In the ring, there's no, I don't know. I'm not... I, I I don't believe that there's respect or anything, you know, because you have to beat the opponent standing in front of you, right? So I am not gonna um, ignore that <laughs> for this moment. You know, everything is after fight, but yeah, for now I'm just focusing. I you know forget everything, you know, like the like feelings, anything, you know, like the respect or. Yeah, for sure. It's a very exciting fight and always fun watching you compete. But something I was kind of curious to ask you about, just because the rise has been pretty quick for Saika Izawa. I'm sort of curious, like, if you've seen the new Ryzen Super Adam Weight Champion and just your thoughts on what she's been able to do so far. Oh, yeah. She's, uh, yeah, she's, uh, but I heard about her. She was, like, very good for, like, last year or in high school. But when I watched her fight with, uh, Ayaka, um, Man, she's like, she's like a magician, you know, like she comes, coming, like, keep going to the next uh, technique and the next, so it's right with her eventually. Yeah, she's a very good fighter. Yeah, that would be a very entertaining fight for sure, but I mean, something else I wanted to touch on real quick before we wrap up because i was noticing on the fighting library i believe it was that you quite have the passion for you know coffee and you've got a couple coffee shops in guam from what i was seeing there is there like a particular kind of like interesting blend you're enjoying lately it seems like you know coffee is something you enjoy a fair bit (laughs) yes um yeah coffee is a big um part of my uh lifestyle now yeah because i guess because of my husband kyle he has the old coffee shop and we both like stay messiah coffee and we like to travel um in in the around and then we go visit other coffee shops in new york or anywhere so that's that's my uh that's my one of the goals that uh we're going to have like a coffee shop in japan and yeah definitely a cool thing to see for sure and it's been great getting to talk to you a little bit and i appreciate you making some time me you but i'm also just wanting to be mindful of your schedule and everything like that so is there anything you maybe want to add kind of as a parting thought as we're wrapping up here okay 
And I'm sorry about the all the noise and I'm sorry. And all my hairs. <laughs> No need to be sorry. Definitely adds to it. I mean, you're in the gym getting in the work. So we're getting in the, you know, background sounds, the ambiance and everything. So, no, I appreciate you making some time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, too. Thank you. But yeah, really looking forward to this fight. And people can check that out on July the 2nd there. Ryzen 36, Sayori Oshima and Miyu Yamamoto testing skills. And, yeah, thanks so much for coming on the show, as always. And, yeah, just looking forward to checking out the fight. And you enjoy the rest of your day, too, there, Miyu. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.